Hi, by the end of this video, you will be able to create this merchant ads effect or animation using Swift UI. This is an effect allowing you to move dashed patterns around a shape. We will create this animation using a Swift UI path and a path property called dash face. Before we begin, one thing you have to notice is the shape you want to animate must be a Swift UI path. If you have a straight line or a shape with straight corners, like rectangle. Creating the path by hand is quite easy, but with a complex shape like a heart icon, drawing this by hand will be difficult using the path tool in Swift UI. So in this case, you can use an SF symbol. If you want to create this kind of effect with a shape with curved corners, let's find a heart icon from the search. All these symbols you see here are icon fonts. The data contained in them is different from what we need for this animation. Before we will be able to create the animation, we should have a Swift UI path. To do that, we should first convert the icon into an SVG. Let's for example select this icon and control click it and choose the option Copy Image As. We want an SVG. Then we leave the size as it is and the symbol scale to large and copy the SVG icon. Now we should go to Figma. Over here, we can paste the icon. I have zoomed in, that is why the icon is too big. You can see from the layer list on the left, the icon has been selected. Let's click on this arrow to expand the layer list. And here we have two other layers. By selecting this one, if we press enter, we go into vector editing mode. And here we can change the control points to anything we want. I'll press Command and C to undo the change. So now you can see we have a path in Figma, but what we need to do is to have an SVG code. So let's select the whole heart icon and rename the layer to outline heart. With the layer still selected, I will press Control and click it, and then choose the option, copy paste as. Let's copy as SVG. Then we go to the browser. Then let's open another tab and search for SVG to Swift UI. This is a tool you can use to convert an SVG to Swift UI. You can also find the same tool on GitHub. So let's click this link. There is also a link here to open it in the browser, or you can use the Figma plugin. The SVG code is still in my clipboard, so I can click here and paste it. And now all we need to do is to click the convert button. So over here, it creates a struct that conforms to the shape protocol in Swift. So right from here, we can copy the result and paste it in Swift UI. I have already done that, so I'm not going to copy it again. So if we go to Xcode, the heart icon we just generated is the same as this one. So this is what we are going to use. I will still fold the code. Before we create the animation, I want to show you another way we can get the SVG into a Swift UI path. I'm going to open the terminal on my machine. You can see here, I'm now in the directory Swift Copilot. I'm going to open this directory in VS Code. To convert the SVG code into a Swift UI path, you can use ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, or GitHub Copilot. It doesn't matter which one you use. I prefer using GitHub Copilot in VS Code. So in this example, I'm going to open this directory in VS Code. To do that, let's write code and a period and press enter to open this directory in VS Code. Let's click this button to add another file. We will call it heartIcon.svg. The SVG code copied from Figma is still in my clipboard. So let's paste it here and press Command A to select everything. Then we go to the search and click it. We choose the option Open Quick Chat to open GitHub Copilot. Then we should give the prompt Convert the selected code into a Swift UI path and click this button. So it is now generating the code. Let's wait for a moment. So by stepping through this code, you can see it is similar to the one we generated using the SVG to Swift UI tool. Here it uses geometry reader, but all we need is the path. So we can copy only the path. 
and use it in Swift UI. Since this is just an alternative to what we did previously, we are not going to use this code. So let's go back to Xcode. So that is the struct defined over here. So here you may ask the path in Figma is different from the one we have. So here we have it as an outline path, but the one in Xcode has a fill. After bringing the path into Xcode, you need to do the styling. So here our path does not have any style. We don't need to see all this code. So I will press Option, Command and left arrow to fold it and focus only on the hat icon view. Let's add the animation and style the icon as well. We will use face animator to create the animation, but you can use any other kind of Swift UI animation. With face animator, we should define some steps for the animation to go through. So let's use an array because we have only two steps, true and false. In the closure, we should specify what we want to animate and how we want to animate it. So let's say we want to animate the opened path. And what do we want to do with the opened path? We want to move the opened path around the shape. That makes the hat icon disappears. But don't worry, we will bring it back soon. So in the closure, we will add the hat icon again. So you can see here we have a filled hat icon. Let's add the stroke modifier to style it. So we have applied the stroke modifier with all these properties, line width, line cap, and others. The array for the dash property determines the gap between the dashes. Then you can see we are animating the dash face using the animation variable we defined here. So we are changing the dash face from a value of minus 100 to 225. With that, we get this repeating and back and forth animation. Let's also resize the hat icon by applying the frame modifier. So we can give it a width of 64 and a height of 64. For the purpose of demonstration, let's make it a little bit bigger. For example, 128. Next, we can apply a gradient to the symbol. So here we have a linear gradient with the colors defined over here. Now we have a repeating back and forth animation, but this is not what we want. Luckily, when you use face animator, we can customize the animation further. So let's select our face animator and add the animation trailing closure. Here we have to bring our animation variable that is move around. Next, we should specify the easing we want to use for this animation. In this example, we want a constant speed animation. So let's use linear. We still have the repeating back and forth animation, but we can customize this further by adding a speed. So let's reduce the animation to a speed of 0.05. So it animates to one side, also animate back to the other side. Still, we can customize the animation further by adding repeat forever and setting auto reverses to force. With this, we are going to end here. We now know how to create a smooth match enhance effect here inside Swift UI using the dash face property of a path. Thanks for watching this video.